Uh, good morning. It's Thanksgiving, which I don't really know how I feel about Thanksgiving. I do actually, I really am not a fan. Uh, but anywho, today I want to show you what I'm eating for th or on Thanksgiving as a vegan. And also, I want to show you what I'm doing. So I'm just going to vlog all day today. So basically, it's the morning. I haven't really done anything yet other than fed my animals and drink some s water. <laughs> uh, I have my water with me because I'm going running. And also, I just got this yesterday. <sighs> my brand new Hydro Flask. It cost me almost $50, but whatever, you know, the things you do for water containers. Uh, so yeah, this is my child. And I'm going to go drive to the beach and go running. And I'm also bringing my surfboard. And I'm like, have a bathing suit and a wetsuit and everything. So possibly go surfing. I think the waves are kind of small. I uh, haven't been in a really long time. And yeah, I just feel like trying it out again. Uh, but I don't know, maybe I won't. I'll just, I'm going to go run at the beach, see how the waves are, and see how I feel. But... It just took me so long to get my surfboard in my car and it barely fits. So I feel with all the effort I put into that, I should probably do something with my surfboard. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'll let you guys know. And then I'm going to come back home and eat food. So yay. So, I just got done running. Uh, I don't, I didn't run very far, but I haven't ran in a very long time, so I just kind of, you know, took it slow. Um, I like running next to the beach because, you know, I can like watch the waves and it's, it's nice. You have a lot of good scenery. It's a beautiful day. If you haven't already seen, so lucky for me Thanksgiving and you know grateful for lots of things um, and I got my surfboard all packed up in my car so I think I'm going to get into my wetsuit that's like not really a, a wetsuit <laughs> and try to catch some waves <laughs> any waves and I'm really tired now but it was still nice just being out in the ocean it's a really nice day wow there's like no waves <laughs> no wonder I didn't catch anything yeah my arms are pretty tired that's a good workout <laughs> just paddling around trying to catch waves All right, well, I'm having quite a late breakfast, but I just made this banana ice cream smoothie bowl for breakfast. So it's just frozen bananas, almond milk, vanilla extract, cacao powder, peanut butter powder, all blended together. And then I topped it with some granola, some seeds and grains, and some chia seeds. So that's what I'm having. Still drinking more water out of this Hydro Flask, and it is the... How many ounces is this? <laughs> the 40 ounce, I think. So it's almost a liter of water, I believe. So that's what I'm drinking with this. Hey guys, reporting live from um, Thanksgiving in 2000, what year? 16? I don't know. Uh, look what I have here. <laughs> so we got a dinner roll. I'm probably going to have like 500 more of those. This is just for, you know, aesthetically pleasing purposes. I got a turkey. This is from Trader Joe's. It's vegan, obviously. Hello, we're not eating dead animals today. I have a green bean casserole, which I made with vegan hot dogs and vegan mushroom soup and green fried onions. I don't know if they're green. They're just fried onions. Then we got some stuffing, Trader Joe's stuffing. Shout out to that with vegan butter. Uh, I actually made all these recipes, so, you know, I can just show you how I made all these things. Or I can just link the recipes below and all this. Most of the stuff's from Trader Joe's. That's from Trader Joe's. That's from Trader Joe's. Made potatoes, Yukon Gold potatoes, a vegan butter, soy milk, and garlic powder. Yum. And my mom made some cranberry sauce, which happens to be vegan. 
Yes, and then I'm gonna have some apple pie that I made by scratch. From scratch, I made my own vegan apple pie holla. So um, I'm just kind of living the dream. I stole the centerpiece to take this picture and my mom is yelling at me right now. So I'm gonna go. You guys enjoy your Thanksgiving and uh, you know, happy assimilation and oppression of indigenous Am Americans and massacre of Turkey steak. Uh, bye. <clears throat> so I just wanted to talk about some things that I'm grateful for, thankful for. I mean, I do try to do that every day. It's something that I feel like obviously shouldn't be just a once a year thing to like be thankful for something. And the holiday itself of, thank of Thanksgiving isn't really something that I celebrate. I mean, I just eat the food. I don't really, I don't really think much of it. But I do think that just, you know, for the theme of this all, it would be kind of nice to talk about some things that I'm grateful for and appreciative of. So, um, you know, like, obviously the whole Donald Trump thing, there's there's a lot of bad things in the world. Uh, the DAPL, the pipeline, um, just the fact that my rabbit is literally playing with his toy. <laughs> you know, just the fact that there's so much destruction going on in the world and there's, like, war and murder and, of course, the animal holocaust, which it I think about it every day. Uh, but I mean, on there's still so much to be thankful for because not everybody is a destructive, evil, uh, apathetic human being. You know, there's a lot of people who are vegan because they care and they want to make a difference. And there's people who didn't vote for Trump and there's people who are at Standing Rock and are against the pipeline, people who are protesting against Trump. There's so many people who care in the world. Um, so I want to, first of all, just I'm thankful for all of my subscribers, all of you guys, all of my followers on social media because this is actually, like, social media has been such, like, a positive thing in my life. I just feel like I've met a lot of people and I, there's, like, a community that I'm involved with. And it's definitely helped me grow as a human being. And I know, like, I get messages all the time, like, people are thanking me for helping them, and I feel like I need to thank them, too, because you guys help me. You know, I just, I'm really, I'm grateful every day, and I, it's really hard to express the feeling I feel, because it's something that I just feel like can't be expressed in words. It's just something you feel. But, uh, I'm, so I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for, you know, just my health, my, the fact that I have a house, I live in a neighborhood, I'm safe, I have food and water and you know there's so many people that don't we just take these things for granted all the time um i'm thankful for all of my beautiful pets and all of the animals in the world who are so beautiful i love them all i'm thankful for my friends i'm thankful for a vegan food and to live in such a progressive area where so many people are becoming vegan and becoming more aware more compassionate every single day veganism is growing so much and that just makes me so happy um I'm thankful for the earth and nature because I feel like that is where I'm free and that is where I'm home. The ocean, the mountains, the desert, the forest, all of these things. I'm so grateful for the opportunity that I have to travel. I'm, I've saved up a lot of money to do it and I'm so excited to do it. It's coming fast. Uh, so I'm really thankful for that opportunity and just just like the simple things, you know, I don't have to, I could go through every little detail of my life, but it's really just the simple things overall that I feel like we take <clears throat> so much for granted. Um, I'm thankful for, you know, art and creativity and just this expression of the human spirit in all different forms. Music, Led Zeppelin, thankful for Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Music and dance and art and just all of these things. Um, fashion, you know, just, yeah, it's materialistic, but it's also art. It depends on which way you look at it. Um, I really have found a lot of, like, deep love for creative re creativity and art and expression through artistic means, which, I mean, that is what art is, is just expressing human spirit through, like, a physical or some sort of, like, visual, audible kind of thing. Uh, and yeah, I mean, there's so much to be thankful for, and I feel like if we just took every single day to be thankful for things, the positive things in our life, 
then we would have no room to complain or no room to think about anything negative because negative we tend to focus on the little negative things when the majority of aspects of our life are all positive so i'm just really thankful and i'm really grateful for myself and like who i've grown to be and you know i feel like i've become such an aware and compassionate person I'm like a very more conscious person i definitely have more growing to do but i'm just so thankful that i've kind of realized this at such a young age and have the ability to share this with other people um, I'm thankful for books and knowledge and education and yeah, I'm thankful for you guys. So <laughs> thanks for watching this. It's, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was pretty much just what I eat, just my day. I had a really good day today, actually. Um, I just, my birthday was a couple of days ago. So, you know, I'm kind of like, I feel like even though, you know, it's just another day, but I do feel like I'm just growing so much and it, it just makes me realize you know like life is short you age and it's it's a new year i feel like you know i'm already 19 and there's so much that i still want to accomplish and and there's still a person that i need to become or i will become and you know there's no rush or anything but you gotta just live each each moment at a time and appreciate everything so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys soon